Yo, what is up, guys? It is your boy Sleek, and I am back here today, and I'm on Madden 23. We're doing a fantasy um, draft here, 32 users, fantasy draft league. I picked the New England Patriots. I was picked number 13. Here's a quick overview really quickly um, of the drafts thus far, and just to show you guys how the teams are, are building so far. So Falcons number one, Josh Allen. Bucks number two, Pat Mahomes. Number three was Lamar. Number four, Herbert. Number five, Burrow. Number six, Lawrence. Then the first wide receiver off the board, Tyreek Hill. Aaron Rodgers, old man Rodgers went. And then we got the first cornerback off the board, X-Factor 99 overall, Jalen Ramsey. Then jo uh, Justin Jefferson to the Bucks. Mika Fitzpatrick, an awesome rusher and linebacker there for the Vikings and then wouldn't you know it the Bears take Justin Fields right before me with all of the quarterbacks gone all of the ability to quarterbacks besides Dak and old man Tom Brady I am not going to take a quarterback in this and then although wide receivers and fast cornerbacks are very valuable in um, Madden franchise leagues because you can't get beat over top or you will beat people over the top depending on what speed you take at cornerback or wide receiver i'm gonna go with the man the myth the legend it came down to two picks here aaron donald too old for me 99 overall x factor amazing guy travis kelsey too old even though he's 99 overall and would be a powerhouse on offense i don't think i'm going to use him as much and once again he's too old so i can't really develop him that well Devonte adams too slow but absolutely amazing incredible stats there for him so it came down to Miles Garrett and Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa, the young Bosa brother out of Ohio State. 97 overall X-Factor. Incredible guy. He's just not as fast as my pick. And the 13th spot of round one, I'm going Miles Garrett, Texas A&M. Here's a look at his stats real quick. X-Factor, he's 26 overall, so he still has time to develop. But it doesn't matter anyways because he's a 99 overall already, 99 power rusher, 96 run stopper, 95 speed rusher. Look at these stats out of this world, 98 power move. So one upgrade and he's probably at 99 power move, 88 speed coming off the edge. Absolutely amazing there. He's going to be a speed demon off the edge. He is going to be a threat. And hopefully he gets me some stat, uh, some sacks when I'm playing defense because I need some pressure. Normally I'm the team that it's either a coverage sack or I just get beat over the top because my coverage isn't great. So if I can send some blitzes, I can send some heat. I think I might have a good defense here. Miles Garrett going to the Patriots. Let's get it. Draft player. It says I reached... But I don't think I did. A 99 overall X factor at the 13 spot. I don't think that's reaching. I will catch you guys at my next pick, which is in the second round, pick 20. So I have a long ways to go. And it wasn't the most optimum spot there at pick number 13 in the first round because I missed out on the elite quarterbacks. I was really hoping to get somebody like Trevor Lawrence to use. Somebody that's young, that I can develop, that's also already um, has abilities on them. And I definitely wasn't going to go with an old person because in this franchise we're expecting to go at least two seasons, maybe to a third. But I'm more about developing the team and having those great, um, just absolute dynamic beasts on the team. So we got Miles Garrett at number one. We're going to look for offense in round two and round three. We're going to definitely need a quarterback, and I'm looking at somebody young. On the way around, it was very unfortunate that the Bears took Justin Fields because I was hoping on the back end of the second round that I could I could pick him up and then I have versatility on offense. I got versatility on defense. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. The Panthers are now up. Round one, pick 14. I'll catch you guys in round two. See ya. It's almost my pick. We're up next after the Carolina Panthers and big boy Noah 1156. Who am I going to take here? I'm going to hope that Tra uh, Tradav Tradavius White is here or Trevon Diggs. I'm hoping that one of those two are here. They're fast, young guys. We're going to see if they're here or not. Okay, he takes Cooper Cup. That means we're going to take a cornerback here. Let's get it, boys. Cornerback time. We're on the board. We got the timer. 
look for the cornerbacks here. Okay, so Tredavious White. We got Trevon Diggs right here, 93 speed. Or who who else are we looking at? Marshawn Lattimore. Um, Lattimore might have already gotten taken. I think Lattimore got taken, which kind of stinks. So what we're going to do here is take Trevon Diggs, 93 speed. We need a speed guy at cornerback, but... Before we lock it in, since we got 50 seconds left, we might as well just click on Tredavious White just to check out his speed. If it's 91, we're not going to take him. Yeah, he's 91. He's 27 years old. We're going to lock it in with Diggs here in a second. I mean, we might as well just milk the clock as much as possible, make these guys wait, because I hate when it just is on your pick all of a sudden and you don't know what your game plan is. Okay, so the best guys here are offensive linemen. We're going to go with Trevon Diggs. It might be a little bit of a reach. But we need a speedy cornerback there playing defense. Let's get it. Trevon Diggs, 87 overall, superstar, baby. Let's go, boys. So now that we have drafted Miles Garrett in round one, Trevon Diggs, we have to focus on the offense. We have to pick up a wide receiver at the next one. We have to pick up a cornerback in the next one. That's what we're looking for, but I think we're solid so far. We got a speed demon, absolute physical specimen in Miles Garrett, and we got one of the hottest new young stars in the NFL, Trevon Diggs. Almost has more interception catches, touchdowns than his brother playing defense, which is pretty hilarious, but pretty awesome at the same point. C.D. Lamb goes next. I will catch up with you guys around in round three, right around maybe pick 10, kind of break it down what I'm thinking there. All right, yo, what up, guys? I'm back here, almost on the board. We're in round three, pick 10 right now. Unfortunately, I was hoping for the clutch DJ Moore to get back to me, the newly... Um, Newly acquired for the Chicago Bears. I was hoping I would get DJ Moore. Unfortunately, he just fell, and then my backup plan was Rashawn Gary or Minka Fitzpatrick, and they all went in that order. So there's some smart users before me on the back end once the snake comes back around. So now I'm banking on... Um, who am I banking on here? I'm banking on a wide receiver to get back to me. I'm really hopeful Deontay Johnson gets back to me, one of the only remaining superstars. There's some X Factor still avail available, but they don't have the speed. So there's like Mike Evans, who's old, he's not very fast, and there's a couple other guys. Um, however, I thought for a second there it was my pick, but I am clearly, I was the Broncos in a previous franchise with these same guys. I, I am now the Patriots. So for a second there, I kind of got freaked out, but it is not my pick. So Josh Jacobs got picked there. I got a um, draft board, a pretty rough one because obviously I have to cross him out every pick that happens and sometimes I miss him because the people are just auto picked super quickly. Um, but what I'm hoping for here is to get Deontay Johnson on the back end of this one and then I will have an ability to wide receiver and at least he's young and I know that I can level rank him up a little bit. But then we're working with uh, no quarterback and no safety, which I'm kind of concerned about. But we're up next here. Um, hopefully, I've never done this before. I've never really made my own team before as best as I could. Um, and then there's some smart, very smart users that have just done this over and over and over again since August. So they know what they're doing. But I'm really going to have to contemplate not going quarterback here because if I don't go quarterback here... On the way back, I don't know how many people are going to be left, which is definitely the problem. That's what sucks about the position that I'm in. And we're up on the clock here. Hassan Reddick just went. So that means we have superstar wide receivers available. I mean, people that haven't gone off the board are people like Chris Godwin, 26 years old, 89 overall. There's a, um, Amari Cooper that hasn't gone. Mike Williams hasn't gone. I'm just going to go with my gut here, go wide receiver just because I need somebody that will get me um, some catches that will get open. That's a good route runner that I know that uh, hopefully he's still here. Um, let's see. Speed. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, God. I hope he didn't go and I didn't see him, and then I just make a catastrophic mistake here. I think we got to go by... Um, got to go by... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Dev trait development trait hopefully he's still here okay Deontay Johnson he's only five foot ten though which kind of kind of sucks here okay I'm gonna go Deontay Johnson I'm gonna lock it in before I miss out on getting him uh -oh. and they picked Mike Evans for me 
they just picked Mike Evans for me. Um, yeah, that's what happened. Mike Evans got picked. I guess I got to stick with it. That's fine, I guess. I guess I ran out of time, maybe. But there we go. Mike Evans is on the board. So we got an old Mike Evans. What can you do? That's all right. I think I got skipped. Here we go. Jamal Adams, please stay here. If Jamal Adams is not here, um, yeah, I'm going to be scrambling again. That's all right. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on it. Jamal Adams, baby. Please be here, Jamal. 26 years old. We can still develop him. He can still get bonuses. Okay, I'm up on the clock. I better pick my guy before he's picked for me. Um, why can't I pick? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Please don't skip me. Please don't skip me. I got to get, get out of here. I can't pick my guy. Okay, um, make my selection. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Safety. Oh, God. Did he get taken? Um, fuck. Damn, I think he just got taken right before I was going to take him. So that kind of sucks. Um, where did he go? I guess I'm going to go with H Hafanga here, superstar. Oh, no, he's just normal development. Fuck, I'm fucked. Okay. We got to go uh, running back here. We're going Zach Wilson. We're going Zach Wilson so we don't get skipped. Okay, it says we reached, but uh, Jamal Adams just went right before us. So I that is terrible because Madden never updated it. It was on my screen. I was like, Jamal Adams, lock it in. Didn't happen. Damn. Man, I wanted Jamal Adams. That was a solid pick, too. Joe Mixon was still there. I guess I could have went with Joe. But at least we got a quarterback. So I'm not too upset there with that pick. Okay, we got the young kid, Zach Wilson. So I'm excited about that. I think we need to hit defense heavily now. Just so we don't get skipped next time and we're ready for the pick. Because we're going to be up here in 20 picks. But even though it's 20 picks away... It goes in seconds. And apparently we can't wait on this screen either because then it doesn't update, which really sucks. Damn, I can't believe he went there. I was on him. I was like, okay, this is it. I'm picking him. I'm going to get him. Nope, he was gone. And then my pick was locked and I couldn't do anything. So I guess it really didn't matter. I am not Denver. I keep telling myself that I am not Denver Broncos. Damn, I should have picked with somebody with abilities, but when you don't have a second case scenario, like 26 years old, that's perfect. I guess I need to come up with multiple um, multiple plans if my people are picked, but you'd have to plan so far ahead. Because it seems like with them auto-drafting the people, like auto-skipping, like look at Denver just went over, but they didn't skip them. But oh boy, when mine hit 26 seconds, that guy was ready for the skip button. Damn, that sucks. I wanted Jamal. All right, guys, we're almost back up on the board again. It was so quick. I didn't even have time to drink water or do anything. That way I could take my, you know, catch my breath, as I would say. Pick nine here with the Bengals. He is a very good player, and he knows who's good and who's not. I have three options here. I'm not Denver, so I will not pick here. I got three options. I got Josh Allen. I got Jeremy Chin, a star, speedy, safety that I can play deep. And then I got Daxon Hill. Those guys. Also, Justin uh, Justin Reed is there. I need to bulk up this defense. Josh Allen, he could be another speed rusher for me. I could also user him. So either way, I think I have my mind made up. I have my safety plan set. I know who's there, who's not. But right now, I want to go with Josh Allen. Okay, Josh Allen is here. So I'm going to take him. I'm just going to secure the bag here. Josh Allen. People are taking cornerbacks. That's what I should do. But here we go. Josh Allen is the pick. Lock it in. Boom, baby. So now we got Josh Allen. We got Miles Garrett rushing in off the edge. It should be pretty good. But look at that stat line right there. Pass coverage, 76. We can put Josh Allen in coverage if we do not have another linebacker that can play, that's over 86 speed. But just continue to watch. We're going to try to develop. I'm going safety or another wide receiver after this. Running back, I can always use fast running backs. It doesn't matter who they are, their name, their overall. I can use pretty much anybody. So stay tuned. 
Round six, this is the long way around, the long snake. It'll get back to us at some point. Round six, seven picks away from us. I think there's a couple skips in between, so we got to be prepared here. So I have a safety plan in check, just like I did before. This time they're going to be reaches, but I need some depth at cornerback. I need some depth at safety. So our first uh, pick is going to be Daxton Hill if he's still here. If he's not, then we have to go cornerback. We have to just immediately pivot over to cornerback, and he's not here. We got to go over here. Okay, so it's Justin Reed or cornerback. Justin Reed or cornerbacks. Uh, we got three picks here until our pick. 81 overall is like that's decent on this game. And Justin Hill or Justin Reed with his speed, 93 speed. I think that is a total bonus. He's middle aged, 20 like 25, 26 on this game, so he still has time to um, increase his dev and get some more abilities uh, we're up next here and we're not going to get skipped we're not going to get skipped we're not going to get skipped justin reed lock it in baby don't want to get skipped yep i knew it was going to be a reach but we need somebody deep with speed 25 years old justin reed got it next round on this quick snake spin we are going to take a cornerback they might be 75 overall but we're going to take one. Also, we're going to look at wide receiver as well, just in case some of the top names get taken at cornerback, just as our safety plan, because we're going to need one of the, one of those, especially if they're quickly switching, because it seems like you only get like 30 seconds to pick now. All right, guys, we're about to be up on the board once again. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go with a cornerback here. There are linebackers available, which I'm really happy about because I need another solid linebacker this time to do the run stopping on my team, possibly be my user. If I don't use her as safety, it'll have to be a linebacker, but there's plenty available. So what I'm thinking here, I'm gonna go cornerback on the way back around. Oh shit, it's almost my pick already. Damn, I gotta be ready here. Okay, so we are gonna go with um, CJ Hendo. He's looking pretty nice. We're going to go with him if he's still here. I thought he went right before me last time, but apparently he didn't. He's six foot one. He's young. He's 93 speed, and he's star development. Let me double check that real quick. Yes, he's star development. So I believe I'm going to go with him. That'll be my second guy on the outside. Unfortunately, Kelvin Joseph is not a, uh, doesn't have a star ability, and we're back up on the clock, so we better hurry up and click here before they skip us. CJ Hendo, he's a star, 74 overall, but he's speedy. We need that speed. And a cornerback went right before us, Alante Taylor. What he didn't know was, um, is Alante Taylor? Alante Taylor might have 95 speed, but he doesn't have star development. He's only a bronze. He's only a normal development. So here with CJ Hendo, we got 93 speed. His coverage is lacking a little bit, but I mean, man, this guy is six foot one. He's speedy. He's 23 years old. He's got plenty of time to develop. And then I'm going to give you guys my game plan for the next two picks. So Joe Mixon just went there, which I'm kind of happy about because I did want Joe but I knew he wasn't going to make us back to us because now we're on the long snake all the way back around to round eight, um, pick 20. I'm going to go wide receiver. Whoever's fast there, if they have star ability, I'm going for them. And then just like the Saints did right there, I'm looking for offensive line. I think that's what I need to go with next. I will weigh my odds in between and I'll catch you guys like three or four before my pick and let you guys know what I'm doing. Kelvin Joseph just went there. Once again, another person that doesn't have abilities, so good luck to them. But I'll catch you guys when it's back to my pick. I think I'm going to do this, just bolster up the defense even more. So I got two edge rushers. I got my middle linebacker. I got a safety. I got two corners. I think I'm just going to continue this, and then next round is when I will get my wide receiver two. I think that'll lock me in. Then I can kind of hunt around and kind of see who's still available because – it seems like every position, there's a couple people that have been picked over or missed. So I kind of like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just pick up the scraps from everybody else and kind of see who are those little gems that are missing. And um, I still need an offensive line. So that's what I'm going to look for next. But who wants to pick offensive line? Nobody really. But if Foyasan Olakun gets picked before it gets back to me, then I'm in trouble. But I know Devin Bush is also here somewhere i have to look by speed they're both um they're both stars but what i'm really 
worried about is both of them getting picked here right before me. And if that's the case, then I think I'm going to go wide receiver. And I know there's some speed demons still there, which is good. So I'll have Mike Evans, even though he's super tall, he'll be like kind of like my guy that I go to and he makes all of the catches for me. And it's my pick. So I'm going to pick quick. He's 27 years old. I can still develop him, but I want to lock this in before they skip me. Hey, look at that. Finally, a good pick, it says. So although he's 27, he's a star development. 89 speed, 93 tackle. This is going to be my user. One good upgrade, and then look at that. We got 90 speed, and that's all I need to cover the middle. His zone's 66, but that's all right because I'm going to be usering him. Let's look at wide receiver next. There's some stars that are still there, and one good game, and we can give him a dev game, which would be great. John Ross just went, so yes, I will be looking for wide receiver. Because if that's the case, then people are getting picked quick, and I need to cherry pick while I still can, and that would be wide receiver because I saw some big dogs on the board still. Okay, Chicago Bears, please don't pick Darnell Mooney. You know, I don't know if you guys remember from beginning the first time when it wasn't on speed draft, how um, that Justin Fields went to the Bears. So it would be pretty nice to line up Darnell Mooney there. If Darnell Mooney gets taken by the Bears, gets scooped up. It's either Darius Slayton or DJ Chark. They're both 77 overall. They're both 94 speed. Okay, I'm up. I'm up on the clock here. Darnell Mooney is still here. 81 overall. Star development. Lock it in. Young man. 24 years old, baby. Let's go. 93 speed. 93 excel. 90 catching. 88 spec catch. 88 jumping. This guy looks wild. I've never played with Darnell Mooney. I've never played with... Everybody on my team, I've never used them before in this game. So they're looking good. Now I got to hurry up and set my game plan for the next time, but I have plenty of time because it's the long way around the snake. I'll catch you guys round 10, pick 20. Let you guys know what I'm looking for, but probably offensive lineman. Auto draft, Justin Tucker. Oh, gotta love it. But uh, Josh Uche went, which um, he was one of my little sneaky guys that I was going to pick. But there we go. Money Man Mooney coming to the New England Patriots playing alongside Mike Evans. I think that's a dynamic duo. Catch you guys at my next pick. Miles Sanders was born in 1997. Okay, that's fine, 1997. I might just go with Miles Sanders. That might be the pick here. He's a little bit smaller than what I would want to use. He's 5'11", so he doesn't really, I guess Damian Harris is smaller than him. So I'm going to go left tackle, look real quick. If Jedrick Wills is gone, I'm going to go Miles Sanders running back highest overall so that way I don't have to go through all the way. Then I will have running back locked down. Then it's just getting offensive linemen and the uh, exterior, the outer guys. So other cornerbacks, safeties, get the backfield on the defensive side. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're on the clock here. Left tackles. Is Jedrick Wills on here? Is Jedrick Wills on here? Um, come on, baby. Jedrick Wills is not here. I'm going to go running back then. And uh, where is he? Where is he? Miles Sanders. Lock it in, baby. Miles Sanders. Jedrick Wills just got taken right before us. That is very unfortunate. Five foot 11, 25 years old. But Miles Sanders is a dog. I think we can get him up there. I think we can get some breakouts with him. 91 speed is not amazing, but he's still breakaway talent here. 94 carrying, 89 uh, ball carrier vision. He's got the good juke moves, 87 juke. That's pretty incredible. Change of direction is 88. I think we have a dog here at running back, Miles Sanders. Let's lock in offensive lineman, Eric McCoy. We're looking at Eric McCoy. Can we build around Eric McCoy? Should be coming up here. The terrible thing is the sorting system. When you go to sort, it instantly turns it off for the next guy. So you don't you don't have the sort filter on. So it's just terrible. It's god awful. And Madden definitely needs to come back with something better next time. Otherwise, I probably won't be buying the game. But here we go. It's our pick. Eric McCoy, lock it in. Our first offensive lineman. I think it's a good pick. And Taylor Decker got picked right before us, but he's a little bit older. We're looking at the young guys. Eric McCoy, we're going to build around him. That is our center. We might move him to guard just because he's our best guy that we got. Okay, here we go. We're on the clock. We're going to go Derek Forrest. It's probably going to say this is the biggest reach of your life, but I'm going to click it anyways. 
yeah, biggest risk. But um, 23 years old, six foot, 91 speed, 79 tackle, 80 pursuit, 93 excel though. I think he's an all around good player here. I think it was kind of sneaky. It's it's sad that he doesn't have a dev trait, but I'm looking for a dev trait cornerback to um, kind of offset that. So that probably was a reach. They're probably in the group chat going like, holy shit, how, how did that guy get selected so early? But here we go. I'm going to go Ambry Thomas here. Star, 22 years old star. He's going to be a young man out there making plays for me. His overall, his stats aren't the best, but 92 speed. I think that's going to be good. Star dev. Now, I'm going to look for tight ends. Look for tight ends, offensive line. That's where we're going to stick. All right, guys, we're flying through the picks. We're back up. We're almost back up here. They're just flying through the picks at this point. So I got to be prepared here. Um, we got to go. We have to go left guard here. Um, Jonah Jackson. We have to go Jonah Jackson here. Um, hopefully he doesn't get taken because if uh, he's taken, then we're we're screwed again. But that doesn't matter. Um, Cole Komet, the guy that I thought was going to get back to me, got freaking sniped from me. Oh, Jonah Jackson just got sniped from me too. So we're going to have to go uh, center here. We're going to go Lloyd Cushenberry. Damn, he just got sniped like that. Cushenberry, we're going Cushion. 24 years old, star, very low overall, but you know what? People just keep getting sniped out from under us, and that's never a good thing, especially when you want uh, you have these people pinned that you want. So that means we have two offensive linemen. They're both developed. Uh, they're both young guys waiting to be developed. Oh, man, but Jonah Jackson just got sniped from us. That's difficult. So here we go. Back at it again. About to be up here. I'm going to go with Osa Odigizua. 77 overall defensive tackle. He doesn't have abilities, but you know, he might get a sack. He might get some tackles for loss. And then you know what? He's a star development. So let's get it here. New England Patriots up on the board. Odigizua. It was a reach. They'll say it's a reach. But I'm looking for young talent. And six foot two, 280. He's slightly undersized, which is kind of a, you know... Kind of not my thing when it comes to defensive tackle. Not what I'm looking for there. I want somebody that's like six foot four, 300 pounds at least. But Osa Odigizua, something hidden about him here, 78 speed. So you're telling me mixed tackling with speed? We got Osa Odigizua. Our three men on the line are fast. They can tackle. They're smart. And they're all going to do really well this year. I'm going to go Jawan Johnson here if it gets to my pick. I swear, if he gets picked, if he gets picked, I'm going to be mad. Okay. Come on, baby. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Jawan Johnson making the pick. Now lock it in, baby. Lock it in. There we go. So we got a tight end now. The tight end room is good. I'm going to look for another guard and then a wide receiver. I think, I think this is turning out to be decent. All right, guys, we're back here. I looked at the wide receivers. It's not looking the best, so I'm going to stick with offensive linemen because we definitely need offensive linemen um, here in round 17. Hopefully, the Sam Cosme gets back to me. Hopefully. Oh, God. Right tackle. Sam Cosme. Got to lock it in. I need a tackle here. Sam Cosme, another young boy, 23 years old, baby. Okay, this is what I'm looking at here. I think we need another edge guy, not to be an edge threat, to just be a run stopper, run stuffer. I'm also thinking I might need another user. So outside of Foyasad Olakun, I might need another guy. I think we're going to go uh, tackle. I think we got to go tackle here with McGarry. Lock it in. Come on, baby. Don't skip me. Don't skip me. Don't skip me. Okay, Caleb McGarry. Got him. Locked it in. He's 27 years old. I thought he was 26. I'm pretty sure I just looked online and he was 26. But, uh, yeah, that's going to have to do for us there. I got some sneaky picks. Actually, do we have one more pick? We have two more picks, I think. We have two more picks. Dunzo there. It will auto-draft the rest of the team. So I think we just got to look for the sneaky boys. Cornerback again. Got to look corner and another run stopper. Okay, guys, we're about to be back up on the board here for round 19. 
Um, hopefully they don't skip us here. We're still here. We're still alive. I'm looking at Hooker, Amani Hooker, as my user. How old is Amani Hooker? Or Malik, Malik. Malik Hooker, 1996. I think Malik Hooker is our guy here. Normal dev, 26 overall. I'm going to user him. Browning? I think Baron Browning is actually the pick. I think Baron Browning is actually the pick here. Bring Baron Browning to the Patriots. There we go, baby. Baron Browning, last pick. I thought he was star development. Apparently not. But, man, we have some absolute speed. Nobody should kill us in the run game. Nobody should outrun us, I should say. But I think that was a decent enough draft. Um, I will catch you guys when the draft is over, when I have the team ready to go. Free agency, they said, is right after this, but I'm not going to stick around too long for that. I'm just going to fill in some positions that aren't already filled in by the computer. And I'll catch you guys hopefully tomorrow because I'm very tired after this one and still kind of annoyed that I got Mike Evans as my first wide receiver when I did not want Mike Evans. But that's all right. Catch you guys back at the screen where it shows our depth chart.